All right, guys, we got a jam-packed one today. Today, we've got a customer that has just nothing but a hill for a backyard and with two small children, they need a solution. So today, what we're going to be doing is cutting out the hill, installing a retaining wall, flattening out the top, flattening out the bottom, reusing the soil that we excavated when we did the excavation on the cut for the retaining wall to build the backyard, and then sodding it. This is gonna be a two-part mini-series, so what are we waiting for? Let's just dive right into the day. All right, we have arrived. gonna be a little bit before Blaine's here apparently so uh, while we're waiting we're gonna run through the cat there's my baby look at you why you would put a wrapper on a thing of grease I do not know bad idea Blaine and Sam run through the equipment before the start of every day. While Sam is greasing, Blaine is checking the oil. And the front pins on the cat are notoriously sticky, so Sam's come up with his own maintenance routine for that. All right, this is uh, this is gonna be a fun one. So here's what we got going on. So we are gonna level out this top portion of yard here. We're on a pretty good hill. I probably can't really tell in the video, but it's a steep one. So we're trying to, like I said, level off this top part of the yard for them. So in order to do that, we gotta take this whole hill down so that it's about the level of this slab here. So if you can see, there's quite a bit of it that's gonna have to come down. It's got a pretty good kind of thing going to it. So we're gonna get that all graded down, push it down the hill, kind of regrade that area there. Now this fence is coming down and we're gonna be doing a wall along here where we shave this that's a big old hump right here there's some areas along there that we're gonna have to take down about six feet so it's gonna be a decent amount of dirt before anything can happen the fence has to come down and sam plans on hand disassembling as much as possible we can save the chain link but the posts are another story The posts come out easy, except when they're connected to the house. They've got to be careful that as they remove this, it doesn't swing out and damage the foundation or that brick molding. With the soil removed, it comes out pretty easily. The rough cut gets made for the retaining wall. Blaine sets the string line to start laying out the wall. That looks pretty good right, right there from down here. Sam clears up the area before they start the cut for the footing. 
which is separate than the cut for the general excavation. The footing in this case will be 12 inches below the front of the grade. That allows for six inches of rock to be used as a footing and six inches of buried course. The boys have both rock and block on the dump trailer. They need the rock, so the blocks gotta go. We want to keep the street as clean as possible, so we dump the rock directly in the bucket of the cab. This is called three-quarter clear sewer rock. It has no fines in it, and it's all three-quarter angular rock in nature, and we use this in both for the base and the drainage zone. As soon as you pour it down, it locks in place and resists movement. Summer snow When it falls on you Your blood runs cold They've got to get the first block set Exactly right Cause it melts away For it sinks in We're trying to get these first blocks As tight as we can Up against the side of the house We got some concrete Blaine's gonna cut it off Alright, how do you get this one going? Choke And then Just pull a thing. We bought this saw last year to do some testing on it for a video and then never used it again. So it's been sitting for about 10 months. There's no way he's gonna get that to fire up. Did that just happen? That's been sitting, I can't believe it. That, I don't know what to say. I mean, it fires up better than the steel chop saw we use on a daily basis. So this will be the first wall that Sam bases entirely on his own. Blaine is gonna set the first block so that Sam knows what to go off from, but after that, this wall's all Sam's. And it's real to think that I could fly across a broken bridge in the fading light. After the blocks get based, they've gotta be towed in immediately. Never had a care in the world you see. While Sam's basing and building, Blaine grabs a skid loader to bring in some backfill. Blaine has to be careful not to get any rocks in that series of lines and holes that you see on the top of those blocks. If those get filled up with rocks, they gotta be hand-picked clean. We've been getting heavy rains every few days, so they didn't want to break the trench open all at once. But now they're on to the next phase of the project, and they need to be very careful as they dig out that bank so they don't knock anything over into their retaining wall. Blaine shaves down the ground and smooths out his work saw. He uses the edge of the bucket to shave through the roots as well. All right, so we got our string line up. 
We need to be a foot down from the string line for the rocks and the caps. We need to be six inches in front of it for rock, and we need to be 18 inches behind for rock. So that's what I was marking. So we're gonna do one of these. By marking out both the front and back of the trench, Sam makes sure that Blaine knows exactly where to dig. He carefully uses the skid loader to scratch out the footing. He doesn't want to go too deep. If he does, then he's going to end up putting material back in and placing it and packing it, which is just an extra step. What he can't do with the machine, he touches up the edges by hand. We always use six inches of rock for base. The only time we deviate from this plan is if we're building a wall in a swamp and we've got to soil correct the base. Then we'll go one to two feet thick and put geogrid in it. Right, well it is uh, nine o'clock and 94 degrees. Oh, yeah, fun stuff, but we got some mobile shade. Yeah. At 10 by 10 camp, you 70 bucks at Northern Tool, and I got a feeling that it is gonna pay itself off today. Sam's basing out the block, Blaine is towing in the course that gets buried, and also prepping the base course for Sam to work down on. I don't know where I'm going, but I don't want to know. A predictable life is not what I want. Putting one foot down, one step at a time. Let the road turn, that is just fine. People ask all the questions, the box you win. To classify your life with the stroke of a pen. Take those old rules, crumple them, and throw one out. We're burning that box right now. Moon breakers. And shakers Don't ever silence your voice Dream makers Risk takers Don't ever silence your voice if you think you were made just to blend right in To avoid big mistakes or to tally your sins You might get to the end doing nothing wrong To find you never lived at all All right, our base is in. Now this next part has confused a few people. They tow the wall in both front and back using the excavated material from on site. But once they're up to the height of the buried course, then behind the wall they'll switch over to three quarter clear drainage aggregate. It's only for the tow end can they use the excavated material. They have to maintain a safe zone away from the blocks when they're compacting. So they can use the plate packer in the front and stay at least six inches to a foot away. But on the back side, there's no room for it, so everything has to be done by hand. All right, guys, well, this is part one. On the next part of this series, we're gonna be wrapping this project up and taking you step by step through the process. So make sure that you guys stick around for that. That's all we got for you today. God bless you guys. Go get them. We'll see you on the next one.